Hi, welcome to the channel. And yes, it's another Fakita video. But it's, it's, a, it's a video on the Fakita that I really enjoyed making because I managed to get into a big aquarium and use the Fakita in clear water and get some really amazing footage of sharks and big fish. Um, before we get into it, what's my stance on aquariums? It's a bit like my stance on professionally managed zoos and safari parks. We shouldn't have them. Unfortunately, at this moment in time, my personal opinion is we need them. Until we have robust strategies that are going to save a lot of species on the planet. You know, we need every bit of help we can get. And now a lot of the big aquariums do a lot of good conservation work. They do a lot of good awareness work. So that's where I, I, I stand. And I think a lot of people will have a similar position. Yes, we don't want to see any captive wildlife, but until we can see it in the wild, until it's safe for those animals to live in the wild and not be poached or um, die through the effects of man, they're necessary. So I just wanted to get that off right at the front. But this is about the Fakita. And I think you can see from the footage that's coming up in clear water, which is large marine life, it works really, really well. It is a real, really good camera for that. And I've mentioned before, that's where I think its kind of role is. When you go to the Maldives and you get close to sharks, rays, um, manta rays, the Fakita is going to do a really good job, and it does. Just one mistake I made, well I didn't make it because I didn't know, and as usual, you know, we've not got, still not got great instructions on the, the Paralens Fakita section on the website on instructions for use. But the DCC is not really designed for use with artificial light. And of course, in an aquarium, in an enclosed environment, it's lit artificially. So as you'll see, just at the start, we've shown you that the footage is very blue. If I had known that, I would have not used DCC, played with white balance to get it the best possible. But anyway, that, that's not a problem because it was so very, very easy, as you will see, to color correct and get what, well, for me, as an amateur, remember, I'm not a professional videographer. Uh, people are kind of thinking that, oh, yeah, he's, you know, I'm still an amateur. I'm still learning. That's the whole purpose of my GoPro and Paralens journey was for you to learn as I learn. Anyway, I'm really happy that I've got some great footage taken with the Vaquita for you to enjoy. I'll talk you through it and we'll have a chat at the end. So here we are in, in the aquarium. Um, beautiful visibility, obviously, and lots of marine life. Um, you'll notice the footage is blue. And the reason for that is because I was filming under artificial light. I had the DCC on, you can see the light here. And it's not designed to do that. That was an error on my part. I did talk to Paralens afterwards and they did confirm that. Um, so it wasn't. this was going to be my clear water test. It wouldn't be fair to use this footage for that. Um, but I thought what I would do is um, just colour correct it. And so you can see the quality of the footage and images we got with the Fakita. And now you can see here after colour correction using the software nice images you know very fortunate in this aquarium that every, all the life comes in close to have a look at you look at this um, sand tiger or ragged tooth shark and really i think this is what the vaquitas really designed for clear water big fish getting close to them um, previously i tried to get in close to things like scorpion fish and that and, and it didn't work very well but in this environment um, we've got lots of big marine life it comes into its own I really enjoyed using the Vaquita in this aquarium dive and here we come look at these golden trevally look at the color and the detail on them I like this guy he's coming in for a quick look and look at the grey roof shark behind look at that you know it's you know, just for using the camera without any light I think these are the common jack or yellow cavallis, also called creval jacks. This is why I was there, my critter hunter challenge, guitar fish, or shovel nose ray. Then we've got some cow nose rays coming around. 
really you know i wouldn't go aquarium diving every week but i think yeah once a year or something it, it's, it's really good fun I don't, i'm not sure what type of stingray this is with with that sort of rough skin that it's got i would appreciate if anyone could tell me um because i did look and i couldn't find anything like it so lots of shoaling fish there look at this unicorn fish just coming in let's have a look but the big sharks in this tank are the ragged tooth or the sand tigers as they call them but look we can see all the markings on the side that's how you identify them cow nose ray again good definition so yeah the vaquita really designed for this type of um, videography and i was very pleased with the results here we've got a, a zebra shark because when they're young they've got stripes like zebras but really good you know, the, the, the vaquita comes out in a, in a situation like this and I've said that we've got some merch at last on Teespring and the reason I set it up was to donate funds to the Seahorse Trust from my Seahorse collection and for the, the lovers of the Coronet Yacht there's shirts there for you as well Wasn't that amazing? Ragged toothed sharks, sand tigers as they're also known, grey reef sharks, my critter hunter challenge, the guitar fish or shovelhead rays as they're called. For me, the, the favourites, you heard me say in, in the video, those um, golden trevally. I just love it. I prefer them to the big stuff because you, you don't see them so often, right? Um, you, you see sharks a lot more than you see those that, well, when I dive anyway. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. It was a bit of fun. It did show the vaquita in its best light, what it can do really well. So, and I'm quite happy about that because a lot of the, the work I've done on the vaquita has been unearthing its failings, um, which are being addressed through firmware upgrades. You, you're following my firmware videos. So yeah, I really enjoyed making that one. A little update. Um, I did mention a couple of videos ago that Mateus Levo is going to take the vaquita for a couple of weeks and test it in Switzerland. That is still on, but because of the temperature and the amount of wildlife in the lakes in Switzerland at the moment, we're probably going to delay that till April or May. So that's still coming. Um, we're going to do a collaboration on that. The testing video will be up on Mateus' site, and then we'll probably just have a chat about the camera and our, our personal experiences. And we've got a couple of other ideas, but we're not sure if they'll come to fruition yet. Yeah, we're still in under lockdown in, in many countries or restrictions so it's not so easy but anyway i hope you enjoyed this you know the fakita ideal camera for this sort of situation clear water big moving marine life and you want to get in close thanks for watching we'll see you next time